I bought the cheapest ATV I could find on Marketplace. It was in a million pieces and needed a ton of work. I started to put it back together before I started filming. I messed it up and had to take it all back apart. Let's see if we can get this $300 ATV to run. We're gonna put this baby back together. Came in a box. This thing is probably fine. And basically what I want to do is see if how well it runs and how everything kind of works before I put a bunch of money into fixing the rest of... Yep. Everything's better with a lift. Oops. Don't break that. Holy smokes, it went in. No. I did not bend this brake line. That was somebody else. It only took forever and a ton of effort and I'm sweating. That's in. Sweating. 60. Boy, it might. I got it most of the way there. Probably shouldn't be prying on the brake line. <clears throat> well, this is like every other in the box build I've ever done. None of the parts are where they should be and all of the parts never make it to the box. Get in there. Go to your home. It's really weird how that's not even close but it's still kind of going. Come on, there it goes. Do I get some little T handles? Tight, 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 not tight, not tight, not tight. Motor mount tight, tight. Clutch, one way clutching like it should. Spins that way. Doesn't spin that way. Doesn't sound good, really. Probably gonna end up having to pull that off and replace the whole nine yards, but for now, we're gonna see if it runs. Well, I had talked in a short about forgetting to film uh, rebuilding this engine on the bench. And I said, well, it's no big deal. I'll film the rest, we'll get it running. We're all good. I put the carburetor and the exhaust on this thing. I could flop it over and get it to start at least enough to know that it's gonna run. So. Uh, in doing that, I found a few other issues. The starter relay or the switch is no good. Um, pretty much everything on this needs some sort of help other than the guts of the engine, which I went through and uh, replaced pretty much everything it needed. It's better than new, it's rebuilt. In that new engine rebuild came a new head gasket and we installed a new head gasket. And I'm not, everything's torqued, the, the proper specifications, all the rest of it, but 
But you may notice, I don't know how well it's coming across, but right at the end of my finger right there, that's coolant. Just about ready to drop. Right there. Boop. Drop coolant. And there's more leaking right here. I guess the good news is that um, you get to see me take it apart. The bad news is it's the second time. And that kind of sucks. But should go quick because I'm experienced. Experienced because I just did it two weeks ago. Things you should check for. All right, let's get her apart. All right, so we got it taken apart. There's our head. Probably took 45 minutes, I guess, that half hour maybe. And once I got the head taken off, the problem became pretty apparent. I don't know how many of these things I've done. 40, 50 top ends maybe at least. I've never made this mistake before, so. This is a little bit embarrassing. So, pull that. Well, try not to drop that timing chain down in there. Although, at this point, what is the. Who cares? Wow. Head gasket. Can you see what's wrong with it yet? Something there that shouldn't be. If you're in a hurry, or if you're working late at night, or if you're not paying attention, Apparently all three of the things happened to me. 
what happens is some of those o-rings might get stuck in between your head gasket so that used to be an o-ring and now it's I mean you can tell the thing was torqued it definitely was tight enough I don't know so that's pretty cool smushed right in between here because I wasn't paying attention you see how that's made up of it looks like three different layers of material so that was a pain and the big bummer is that these are one time use only so probably I, I never I, I mean obviously never started the thing um, with that gasket so you probably I don't know maybe I could reuse it I'm not going to. I'm not even going to bother. Chuck it, buy another one. It sucks, but whatever. I don't want to have to tear this thing down 15 more times. I actually don't I don't want to have to tear it down one more time, but So, here's the lesson, kids. If you're tired, stop working. Basically, don't push through. Once you get past a certain point at night and you're tired, you miss stupid crap like that. And instead of starting this thing today, I get to look at it for another week until a head gasket shows up. Because there's a pretty good chance they're not going to have one in town. Or maybe they will, I don't know. Uh, this is an old machine. You used to be able to go and get this stuff, but now you can't because whatever. Um, but anyways, that's what we do. Tear it apart, learn from our mistakes. Uh, trying to run this with leaking coolant wouldn't have been bad. And you can see why, because that's water, antifreeze. Antifreeze does not burn. It makes a mess, ruins things. So anyway, we'll uh, get a new head gasket and try it again.